because that's what you find. The more equipment you got, the more slave you find yourself being. I've got to tend to this, take care of that. And the Lord said, all that's going to disappear. And it's going to be something very simple that will go out and it will work for you. It's like the pet rock, the hula hoop. It's a simple thing. But the Lord said, you're going to find yourself giving that, revela giving that revelation to. And the Lord said, when you have it, you'll know it will work. Even though everybody will say, you're a fool, you'll miss it. But said, God, he says, I have put my anointing on it, and it will prosper in my name. Thus said the Lord, amen. Uh, you ever think about that, the guy that came up with the pet rock? I mean, some of you don't even remember the pet rock. <laughs> it was a long time ago, but I mean, people were paying exorbitant amounts of money for a rock that had glued on eyes and eyelashes or eyebrows or, you know. I mean, what do you do? You talk to it? You don't feed it? I mean, you water it? What do you do with it? I don't know. The hula hoop. You know, we still got one. Whoever thought that would work? But there's all kinds of money to be made for all our needs, and it's all in one revelation from God. And, you know, you can come up with all kinds of ideas that seem to work and everybody's saying yeah that'll work and you get out there and you fall flat on your face because it wasn't God I mean the most foolish things God can take and prosper you by and make it multiply amen thank you Lord uh, dear sister in the very back uh, you got a red white and blue striped uh, shirt on yeah with a white collar yes what's your name hon? Valerie Valerie Mallory, Mallory. Mallory. Like I told you, I can't hear it when I get into this. It's just impossible. Of course, my wife will say he's always that way. <laughs> um, there again, you find yourself at a crossroads. And you're trying to make your mind up. Which way am I going to go? Should I go ahead and settle down or should I keep going this way? And the Lord says, keep going that way. It's not time. There's more to life than just taking care of somebody else's needs. Because the Lord said, there's more that I have in you that I want to bring out, more that I want to draw out of you. Even at times you find yourself um, wondering, Lord, why do all these people seem to gather around me? Why do they pull upon me? Why do they tell me all of these troubles? And why do I have to listen to this? And at times you find yourself going down. When you're up, you're as high as you can get. When you're down, you're in the bottom, you're in the pit. And the Lord wants to begin to level all that out and cause you to learn more how to be like someone who cruises. There was a cruiser, and there she is. She moved on me. And, but the Lord says, you're not going to be led by your emotions and your feelings any longer. You're going to be led by my spirit. For my spirit will begin to make the path clear and clean. And you'll see that there's not going to be any disturbance or distractions. You don't like to be caught off guard or surprised. And one thing you just can't really tolerate is somebody to make fun of you as a joke or use you in a joke. Because you have more respect for yourself than that. And you expect people to recognize your gifts and your talents and your abilities. And the Lord wants to endorse those. And he's going to give unto you a special promise. That those who come against you shall fear what will happen unto them. Because they're going to see that there's something changing in you after this day. And you're going to begin to not to be so serious that you forget to live. But you're going to take life in a greater measure, a greater understanding, seeking direction from me, saith the Lord. And you will find that I will speak to your heart and I will show you things. I see that you're going to find yourself like in a place of like a, a mental convent. Not that you're going to be a nun. That's not what the Lord's saying. He's saying, what he's saying is you're going to find yourself in that, that place that you will reside in. A place you will step into that you will begin to glean from the Lord and read and study the things of God and you'll see that there's more knowledge in that than all the knowledge you could obtain from any university because the knowledge you obtain from his written word shall give unto you all the answers that you need in Proverbs the Lord said I'm going to begin to show you things in that that book that others have missed and I'll show you how it shall work in your life because I desire to use the gift of discernment in you. That you will not only discern for yourself who are against you and who are for you. But you will discern what's going to happen in someone's life and see beforehand. As even one that will give caution and even give notice and tell them. But do not mind whether they listen or not. If they do not listen to you and go their own way, you've done your job. So you're not responsible. Because you're one that would take responsibility for another person's life. And if something happened to them, you would feel totally ashamed at guilt. One who is responsible. But the Lord says, if you say what I tell you to say, they're accountable for their own destruction. 
and you will find yourself being used like this time and time again because you will see it, you will discern it, and you'll know if they do not change the path, harm will come their way. But the Lord says, I will give unto you a serious measure about who I am, and a fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and you will have all that you need, thus saith he. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes it gets real serious, you know.